What's up guys, welcome back to another video here on Muddy Beards. 4x4, today we're gonna to be talking about the Harbor Freight Pipe Tube Notcher. Is it worth it? Should you buy it or spend your money elsewhere? So stick around. Now, I realized the other day that I have a ton of Harbor Freight tools, probably like you guys out there. So, I decided to pick some of the ones that I use the most and review them and let you guys know if it is worth buying them or not. Now, as some of you know, Harbor Freight has sponsored some of the tools on this channel. So, if I am reviewing a tool that was sponsored, I will let you know in full transparency uh, but most of them, almost all of them, I purchased with my own money and I will uh, let you know some of them. I'm going to let you know that you shouldn't buy them because they're broken sitting up in the cabinet over there. So as we go through this video series, I'm going to make a bunch of videos about these tools, five minutes or less, just knock it out and let you guys know is it worth it or not. So what are your options for notching two? Me, all the way up until a couple weeks ago, I just used the old angle grinder with, you know, cutoff wheel or a grinder flap disc. And that's how I've done it, and I have did it on the roll cage in my Jeep, and it works fine. It's really time consuming and uh, not the best way to do it. It's not perfect, you know, sometimes you gotta add a little extra weld in there to fill the gaps. Also, there are programs on the computer, just Google tube coping calculator, and type in your numbers, the size tube, the angles, stuff like that, and you can print yourself out something like this, and you'll wrap it over the tube and you can mark it out with your pen or pencil or whatever you're using. And then you can, again, use your ankle grinder. I'm currently building a roll bar and reinforcement down to the rear strut towers here on my 86 RX-7. And I'm using inch and three quarter 120 wall DOM. So I purchased a inch and three quarter Milwaukee hole saw, which was $12.47 and the tube notcher from Harbor Freight is $57.99, so I'm in it about $70 total for the whole thing. So here is the unit right here. This is actually a Harbor Freight half inch drill. So the only thing that complaint that I really have, it's not really a complaint yet, is the washers on here are kind of soft. So as you tighten these down, they kind of squish, and it makes it a little bit hard to move this around. You have to loosen them more than I'd like to. So I could replace these with like a grade eight washer and that'd be a little bit better, I think. Got my 14 here and I just use it here. Loosen these up, move it to the angle that I want and then tighten them back up. I've been making a bunch of notches with it, uh, working on the cage for this car and it has saved me a ton of time. And I actually went through and made a bunch of templates. I had some extra uh, tube laying around and I made, this is the 90, so it's just the straight straight cut. And this is like a 45 and, or this is like a 40, I believe. And then I made another one over there that's like a, a 35. I actually am using this in a vise. Uh, the way this is set up is if you loosen these up, you can actually put it into a drill press and that works as well, but my drill press, which is also a Harbor Freight drill press, is like a, a bench top drill press, and it's not tall enough to fit this in. So if you expect to use this in a drill press, like the picture shows on the front of the box, you need a full, a full stand-up uh, drill press, not like a bench top kind of mini drill press, because it will not work. So let's cut a, uh, a couple of pieces here. So this one is a 35 degree one that I just cut and you can see how it fits very nicely all the way around. Having these templates at the, you know, like 90, 45, 25, whatever you think you might need, having those is gonna be really helpful. The next cheapest one that I could find is the Speedway Motors uh, tube notcher. It's very similar to the Harbor Freight one, but it does come with the hole saw. It is about $40 more 
than the Harbor Freight one, which is almost double. My math is bad, so I don't know. So it's 57, 40, whatever. You guys, you guys get it, right? So for that $70, you can get a professional looking tube notch. And as long as you are a decent welder, you're gonna make that look really nice. Oh yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Buy it, if you need one, I'd recommend it. If there's any tools that you want me to review, any Harbor Freight tools that you want me to review, leave it down in the comments. If you wanna follow me on social media, I am at MuddyBeards 4x4. Got a website, MuddyBeards4x4.com. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Great, don't that be going crazy.